Hello, I'm Jerry Fort, the beer review guy. I have a uh, flying dog, dog Toberfest, Marzen. Of course, October's over with, but um, it's a 5.6% alcohol by volume. Um, it says, uh, it says, there is sauerkraut in my Lederhosen. I repeat, there's sauerkraut in my Lederhosen. <laughs> That's what it says on here. Okay, yeah, and it's a Marzen. Um, uh, Tony Howard brought up a good point about, um, oh, probably for any, any reviewer, but, you know, I'm still a new guy. I'm coming up on a year of reviewing um, so I'm not a professional on you know I'm not a seasoned reviewer on a lot of different styles um, and especially Marzins I haven't I haven't reviewed um, a lot of the Marzins um, so um, I'm just gonna give my opinion on uh, what I'm tasting what I'm smelling to the best of uh, to the best of my knowledge uh, so I mean, he just suggested, and that was his opinion, that people should, you know, if they're not familiar with the style, you know, let them know on the review. So, I think it's a good idea. So, that's what I was doing, so. All right, here's the, uh, here's the cap. All right, let's see what this, uh, Dogtoberfest Marzen brings to the, my plastic table here. We got a little little hisser going on there. Got a little smoke coming out. I don't get to see that very often. Alright. Oh, it's actually darker than what I thought it was going to be. The head is uh, kind of a light mocha kind of appearance. Got a, about a finger ahead right now. The color is a dark, a dark brown. Not, no, not really dark brown. It's a, it's a lighter brown, but yet, you know, like, I always like to say tea, like if you know you pour a glass of tea. Um, it's kind of the appearance you get if it's a little stronger tea, but uh, it's kind of a bronze. No, not really bronze. <laughs> uh, anyway, you can see for yourself. Might even be, might even have like a, a little bit of a red hue to it. Um, but yeah, it's a little hazy. All right, let's see what we got. Hmm. Yeah, there's a little bit of a a light, maybe light, bready, little yeasty kind of aroma. Might be a little bit of sweetness. I almost want to say there might be a little bit of like an adjunct in there, but I'm not totally sure about that. Maybe I'll get more on the flavor. Um, maybe just a little bit of citrusy type character in there. Alright, let's see what we got. Wow. That's pretty good. Almost kind of reminds me of a... Uh, <clears throat> I almost want to say like a Hefeweizen. Hefeweizen? It's been a long day. <laughs> Hefeweizen. Yeah. Almost tastes a little weedy, maybe.
it's got a medium body light carbonation burn a little bit of dryness <clears throat> um, might even be a little bit of a, a roastiness in there a little bit yeah Wow there's a lot of uh, there's a lot of um, flavor notes that are coming out of this is that the way Oh, excuse me. Is that the way Marzins are? That's a very, uh, a very tasty beer there. <clears throat> very smooth. Mm-hmm. Very crisp. There's a light bitter in there. That's good. That is really good. Um, Flying Dog, Dogtoberfest, Marzen. <clears throat> There's a couple of Swiss, Swed Swedish men there. Um arguing it looks like and there's a a dog all stretched out on the floor there <laughs> all right yeah 5.6 percent alcohol by volume i did not taste the alcohol in there good beer all right well i'm going to end it there and i appreciate you all watching and i hope to see you on my next one